All right, hello everyone. Today we'll be trying to get three wins with the Splat Burla. Very inconsistent weapon, at least in my experience. You got a big shield that takes up a lot of damage, if it works. And then you can get a two shot, again, if it works, if your weapon hits most of its pellets. But half the time it'll be three or four shots. Either way, our main goal is to just go push the front lines and try and take fights. We want to try and stall those fights out by flaring our shield and kind of shooting in between. Not in a great position right here. We can also arc our shots, kind of like a slosher. Not as good though, just where the impact is. Let's look, er, this sloshing machine, not a sloshing machine, this blob ball is going to be annoying and I ducked to the reef slaughter there. Probably could have shielded and sacrificed my shield there to not die, but oh well. We're gonna go over here. Hold block here. Just kind of position around them. Don't be afraid to drop into shield or sorry, squid mode to drop your shield and move around. Unfortunately, that was weird and I died to the blob over there. And we really don't have a lot of field presence right now. Try and make that happen again. We don't have a lot of paint on the field. All right. And again, you wanna just flare that big shield out and make them shoot at you. Be a distraction and help your team take out the enemy so that you don't die. This way signal is very important. It'll let your team know that you're in a fight and hopefully they'll come to the rescue. We have trash drop. That'll help pressure opponents off of us. We're gonna fire some shots over this way. Recover ink. It's very ink hungry too. I have um, ink recover, not ink recovery. Ink saver main on the hat. And then a bunch of run speed on our shirt. Just to make sure we can heal it off, or not heal off. Don't know what I'm saying right now. But so we can move around while our umbrella is open. We're gonna hold that. He's gonna try and fight me now, and he can kill me. Unfortunately, I probably shouldn't have pushed that far. That was overextending. But we do kind of get free jumps in as long as the shield works. Just hold your fire button as you jump in. We'll hold that block. We do die to brushes like pen brushes and regular aqua brushes. Like can kind of just shoot over the shield. But it's fine here since we are still getting lead. We played a distraction enough to where they just kind of ran off and tried to kill us. The way we're gonna try and paint. Your paint is very similar to Slosher's. So not the best. But it's not horrible. You'll be getting your special at least decently enough. That's not good. Really don't want to take this. Really don't want to take that at all. Unfortunately, died of the paintbrush, because again, that can just shoot over your shield. It's kind of counter. Also, I guess I died to the curling bomb. Fine though, I can jump in here. I mean, you really don't want to fight two or weapons that really do a lot of HP or DPS. So something like the Hydra, which I did take out earlier because I was quick enough to kill it. But Hydras and Blob Blobbers are weapons that you have issues with. That was an unfortunate death there. Should have acted a little bit quicker since I knew he was probably going to run in and try and kill. But we're going to move in here. Move up this way. These ink storms are getting a lot of them and they're very annoying. Hit someone there. See these tetras. Fortunately, we lost the lead off that. And don't forget to lead your shots since the shots and pellets are kind of slow and you have to try and hit all of them. Again, we're going to keep an eye on this tetra. Throw that there and just kind of get rid of our trash stock really quick. Tied to the blob blobber. You're just going to get killed by blob blobbers on this map. This is not a great weapon for mid to short ranged weapons. Long range weapons just do have a very clear advantage. Alright, he's dead. Hold our shield here. Again, we don't want to hold it for too long because we do drain ink very quickly. Alright, shoot that there. All right, killed the Hydra. We're gonna hold back. Hold here. Gonna block this guy from moving. Not down to the curling bomb, hopefully. There's that ink storm again. And they're getting a lot of them. 
See the paintbrush? We want to catch him off guard. There we go. We're going to move around this way. Tried to block that guy there. Sorry, I'm not talking. I'm trying to focus. There you go. He's dead. Oh, well, that happened. There we go. There's a wipeout when we take the lead. All right. That was pretty good. I think I did decently enough there trying to hold shots for people and taking aggro whenever our teammates needed to back off. And that's really how you need to be playing it. You'll get your special quite a bit, but you won't be taking kills too much unless it's just the perfect opportunity for it. So I'll see you in the next game. All right, game number two. Hopefully it'll go as well as the first one did. I mean, we did kind of have a close victory there, but hopefully it can go even better. And for watch out for the Bamboozler and the Splatano Whopper because they deal very high object damage. And we have a decent comp at the very least. Shouldn't have to worry too much about paint from our Dynamo. We're gonna hold block here. Fire over this ledge, keep them back them off. Uh, I don't know if that goes to the shield. I want to say it doesn't, and that was just kind of a weird Brella moment. But it might just go through the shield, which would make sense, I guess, if the hitbox is like that. Unfortunate double missile there, and we kind of just tripped each other, each other up. Now we only have one on the field. I'll jump to our dapples here. Hopefully not out of the bomb. Ah, there, I think that was a Brella moment there. Unfortunately, if latency is, or if there's any amount of latency, then yeah, you're going to have a lot of trouble with this weapon. Should be fine, though. Unfortunately, your shield gets shredded by some tunnel whoppers, and if you don't really have any backup, you're going to die. Other way, we'll move in here. So I guess try and position around them. All right, took him out. We're in the perfect position to take out that jump. I'll toss the sprinkler on tower so it can kind of work around. Damage him quickly. He didn't die, but we're still doing good on that. I'm gonna hold block here. Unfortunately, died there. I took on too many people at once and died again. Since I have so much object damage, it's not gonna be good for me to take on pots like I could last match. I need to take a buddy. My shield has a lot of damage on it. I don't... Hmm. I don't know if the flings have just went over it there or, you know, another Brella moment. I guess we'll see. It could be very easily either one. Alright, took out that guy. I'm gonna hold block here. Could have took that guy out if I wanted to. Fortunately, down of the crack in there. Uh, probably should have moved a little bit to the left, though I think he just had me cornered no matter what. They're all dead again, unfortunately, so I'm not going to be able to have a buddy when I go in here. I, I still don't know if that just goes through or not. I wish I could test it, but oh well, it's fine. Going to take this guy out, hopefully. Shield broke. But they did take him out, so that's good. I'll wait for my shield to respawn. Can still at least uh, help with cover fire. That was two two-shot weapons very close together. That was not smart. Not without my shield. We'll jump in with a block. Just kind of support with cover fire here. Oh, yeah, we're not going to take that. That's not very smart. You can also use your sprinkler as kind of a little bit of a meat shield and a distraction since everyone really likes to shoot at sprinklers but it does use like 70 percent of the ink tank all right took out that guy led my shot so that ended well and it goes right through again that was for sure a brella moment but uh, uh there is just a tiny bit of latency i don't feel it with like my kills and stuff but the shield is very sensitive to stuff like that unfortunately uh, all right through there tried to jump on the grate That's not good. 
That's oh man, got instantly shouted. Uh, I guess I'll jump to tower here. Should at the very least be able to do this. All right, healing off and recovering my umbrella shield too. I have like 10 missiles pointed at me. That's not good. I'm gonna throw this sprinkler here so we have some paint. Okay, that mm, very weird, but that's fine. I have no hopes of winning this. Pretty much, we're just trying to keep him from getting a knockout. Unless I really want to just go crazy. Took him out. We're going to move around this way. Rotate. Just be careful of the Splatona Whopper. It's on the tower. Took him out. Good. Again, use your swim form. Or your squid form. That was not smart. Uh, we really don't have a lot of field presence from these guys. Or, I don't know. I say that, and they might just be trying their best, but I feel like they're just getting killed a lot. Same with me, because my shield just doesn't want to work. Either way, yeah, I'll see you in the next game. All right, game number three. Hopefully, we don't have as much latency as we did last match, and maybe our shield can work. Also, maybe we don't have to fight high HP or high damage dealing weapons. Fortunately, there's another Splatoon we'll have to fight. But everything else should be fine, except for the paintbrush too. So again, two of them are going to give us real issues. But as long as our shield works, we shouldn't be, or shouldn't have to be too afraid. We're going to take the tower. Try not to die there. You want to kind of take high ground when you're fighting brushes like that. So you can kind of delay their range. Take out that guy. He's dead. Got an assist on it. Going to just paint over here. Paintbrush is going to try and fight. We're not going to go and push into its range, but we are going to try and pressure it. We're going to lead our shots. Bomb killed him. That's why I didn't push. I saw the bomb go down there and it can't really move very easily since it's a paintbrush. He falls off into the water. That's good. They're going to probably try and take that ink rail. Never mind. They died to the vacuum. Going to climb up here. Now, once this map gets into this area, it should be a very easy push. We have high ground, and we win. Very, very easy map to steamroll on. So, yeah, um, we did defend some. We did get some kills. We played more of a slayer role there, I guess. You're not really supposed to, but it was perfect opportunity for it. So, yeah, I guess that happened. I'll see you in the next game. All right, game number four. Hopefully we can wrap this up. We have a different or a decent Slayer Heavy comp and they do too. So this will be an interesting match. We have to watch out for the roller and the S blast. Roller li rollers like brushes can kind of shoot over the shield. So we have to be careful of that. Also, it's a one shot weapon. So if there's any amount of latency, we're just going to get killed by it. Best thing we can do is just kind of back off if we see it and fight it at our maximum range. Dapples are another thing, but I'm not gonna be too worried about them. Took out their glue guys, that's good. I'm gonna take out this s blast It has a zone of fire rate where we can just kinda stall it. I'm gonna jump on tower now. Pop a sprinkler on here so they have a shield. I guess they're, we're gonna kinda see who's gonna stay on. I'll stay on since I can defend. I'm gonna block. Hope for my friend there. All right, took out the roller and we're back on the tower. Hopefully we can just kind of steamroll this again. Throw my sprinkler over there. See the glue goes off this way. Just gonna fight him at range. Again, just play it safe. Ah, about there. Unfortunately got stuck on the pole there. I tried to move behind it, but I really wasn't paying too much attention. Splatana Whopper's doing good. I'll jump into them. Jump and hold block. Back up. This S blast wants a piece of me. Not gonna let him. See these dapples here? You're dead. I'm gonna break that. I'll hop up here now. If I can paint. There we go. 
back away from this guy again fight him at range you can very easily just punish him as long as you don't get blindsided by him which we're not gonna do we're not gonna take that fight back away from the s-blast so that's very dangerous for us we're gonna chip away at the shield here it went down very quickly all right you're dead I'm not going to take the fight with the Glugas because my shield is damaged and I would just die. We're going to throw a trash strax. There we go. We'll jump on here. Going to get that roller. There we go. See the dapples here. Just let him take me on in a fight. We can use our shield bumps to do a little tiny bits of chip. Move away from that guy. He has a wall. We don't want to fight the wall. Take out the roller. There's the glue guys trying to take on a fight again. So they're going to throw a booyah bomb at the tower. Or not. Try and save themselves. It's good for us. Come down the roller though. We're going to move off. Take out the roller again. See the glue guys. Thank you friend for taking out the glue guys for us. That's a good another wipeout. So that's good. Oh, don't fall off the tower. Hopefully we can ride this on, finish this checkpoint, and steamroll it. See these dapples here. They're going to try and push in very quickly. We're not going to let them. There's the S-Blast. Oh, man. That is the guys. Should have been paying attention to my left there. Hopefully our... Well, they didn't survive, but we can still get a jump in on our... Ends up here. All right. Get that guy killed. We're going to hang behind here because there is a reef solder. Use that wall as cover, and we'll just hold block on the Glugas and win. Yeah, we just held block on the Glugas there. They were aiming at us, not our friend, so he got killed. There you go. There's win number three. Uh, yeah, that one went very, very well. Our shield worked. We got some kills, picks, whenever our, they were distracted, and then distracted them so our teammate could get kills. Very, very fun that time. All right, there you go. There's three wins with the Splat Brella. Now, other than the one match, our second match, it didn't act up too much, which I know they've been trying to fix it, but still, it has its moments. But it was pretty reliable today. And again, just fight at range, play it safe, and again, just like kind of like the Sculpture Dilies, you want to take fights when they're distracted, and then try and distract them so your teammate can either get the kill, or while they're distracted with your teammate, because they're probably going to try and shoot at your teammate, Whenever you're holding shield, they're like, oh, well, I can't damage this house, so I'm going to go over and look at this guy. That's when you hold, put your shield down and shoot him again. You're just going to kind of play flaring around with your shield and not overcommit to one thing too often. Either way, I hope you enjoyed, and please leave a comment below if you want. And until next time, bye.